Hi guys and welcome to EEE World, the YouTube channel dedicated to electrical and electronic engineering students. In this video tutorial, we're going to see how to design a 5 volt power supply using Proteus software. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell in order not to miss our next videos. I have a bonus for you if you watch the video till the end. Let's get started. To design our power supply, the first thing will be to go to the component mode and select my component. I will need an alternator. Select the alternator. And uh, this will be my power source. It's going to be the power source. After that, I'm going to need a transformer. Select the transformer. Then for rectification, I'm going to need some diodes. Rectification diodes. I'm going to select this diode. Then an electrolytic capacitor. Select electrolytic capacitor. I will also take a ceramic capacitor. Now I'm going to select my regulator, the 5 volt regulator, which has the name Sovereignty 805. I'm going to take this one because this one is a uh, low current, so I'm going to take this one which is high current, 1 ampere current. Positive power supply regulator. After that, I'm going to take a LED for signalization, a red LED for signalization, and uh, I'm also going to take a resistor to protect my LED from excessive current. I'm going to take a simple resistor to protect the LED. Then I can close this page. Now, back to my design, I'm going to first of all include the power source, the alternator. After I have included the power source, I'm going to include the transformer. I rotate the transformer to transform the level of voltage. After that, I'm going to put my diodes for rectification. Put my diodes right here, like this. Let me shift it down. And after that, I'm going to use my capacitor. I'm going to put my capacitor right here. And uh, later, I'm going to put the ceramic capacitor also. And let me start with the linking. I link the components. I start with the bridge, rectification bridge. Then I link the transformer to the power source. I now link the transformer, secondary of the transformer. Connect the ceramic capacitor, and uh, I'm going to introduce right now my regulator, the voltage regulator. Note that here is VI for the input, and we have here VO as output. Therefore, I'm going to use this. Let me place it well. I connect this right here and this right here. And this is the ground. And here is the output. And to this output, I'm going to connect my resistor. Let me rotate that and connect it right here. 
Finally, I'm going to put my left. And connect this like this. Okay, now I'm going to take the ground and put it right here. Also, I'm going to include another ceramic capacitor to the right of our regulator. Like this. Presently, I can modify the values of the components, the power source, for example. I'm going to use a 50 Hz frequency with an amplitude. 311 volts and the amplitude hit OK and for the transformer a good turn ratio will be 18 and I'm going to modify the value of the capacitor I'm going to give it a value of 3300 microfarads I'm going to allow this to 12 picofarads and this resistor I'm going to give it a value of 10k. Hit OK. Now I can press here yeah, play to see and we can see that our LED is shining. Our LED is shining and we can Decide and measure the voltage that's the output voltage which is supplying our LED. To do that, we simply come to this instrument and we select the DC voltmeter that we are going to connect in parallel with our load. There is the load, and it play as we can see we have a 5 volt at the output, 5 volt. And our LED is shiny. I'm going to stop the simulation. For you that stayed to the end, this is the bonus. If you are building a 5 volt power supply and later on you want to add to it a 12 volt power supply, it's needless for you starting back from scratch. You can directly take the voltage level at the output of our bridge rectifier and use. A voltage regulator a 12 volt regulator in order to produce an output voltage of 12 volt DC so to do that we are simply going to go to our component mode and we are going to select a 12 volt regulator which is 78 12 and simply we are going to select this and come and place it right here and directly connect to this point and we are going to add a ground use the ground that we add here now let's take our voltmeter to measure the voltage at the output of our 12 volt regulator let me place it here like this and i put this one like this let's launch the simulation as you can see we have a 12 volt power supply here and we have at this point a 5 volt power supply if the video was of help to you we would like to see your comments in the comment section thank you for watching